Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Hello, everyone. Retro out here. And you know what today is. Yes, you do. You know what today is. We got another fun filled episode of. Retro Robbie's Wild Wednesday Baseball Car Mystery Packs. And today I got two packs from Skip in Oregon, and it's a little expensive. It's $90.87, but it says here uh, guaranteed worth 40 bucks pack price. So you won't lose value. Well, we'll see about that because that makes it 80 bucks and I pay 90. So we'll see what happens there. But it says each pack includes Hall of Famers, stars, then and now, from 52 to 2022, at least two autographs or jersey cars per pack. So he's saying there's going to be older cards in here. So let's put them to the test. Let's skip to the test here. So let's open this up. I got my left hand scissors here. All set, ready to do this. Two packs, $90. A little expensive, but we'll see if it's worth it. And man, this is a full pack. And there it is. Skip the base. We got some fat packs from him. And I guess we got a bonus pack. Oh, that feels, that feels, uh, yeah, that feels like they're a uh, slab card. So we'll save that slab card for last. We got two. I like this. I like what he's got going on there. He's got an old peachy there. You got a level peachy. So I uh, got to find my coin a chance because we got two packs here. This one looks a little thicker though. We'll go heads. We'll go tails. We got the coin a chance right there. And, ooh, almost missed that one. And we flip it, and it's tails. We're going to do the small one first. Uh, I kind of like his packaging. Old school styles. So there we go. And here we are. Uh, here it is. And all forms. And we're going to start off with the 1975 Hank Aaron. Holy cow. What a great way to start there. From the Milwaukee Brewers. 1975 Hank Aaron, Hank right there. Uh, very nice. It looks like it's a decent shape. You know, there's a couple of little round corners, but we'll still take it. Last card of the set right there, 660. Henry Lewis Aaron. Look at all this dance from the Braves. So there he is. Play for the Milwaukee Brewers. We got good old Hank Aaron. Good stock art right there. We'll take that. After that, we got a uh, very nice. We got an autograph there, Ronnie Dawson from the Houston Astros on a 2022 Tops Chrome. So there it is. Getting a nice autograph there of Ronnie Dawson. Uh, we'll take that all day long. So very nice. Uh, I don't know how good he is, but I'll show the price as you know. So there it is. Up next, we got 1982 Ricky Henderson there, stealing the base. Looks like he's ready to go, taking the jump. A uh, very nice card there. 1982 tops of Ricky Henderson. And that, boom, we got another autograph there. We got uh, Luke Murphy from Los Angeles. I don't know if it's Dodgers or uh, Angels. Uh, it doesn't say, so I don't know. It's, it's, a it's a Panini pick, elite pick, so I don't know. I'll show the rise on that. Probably a very, very young, uh, prospect card from 2021. So there you go. We got Luke Murphy there, autograph. And up next, boom! Very nice. We got Charlie Hustle there. Good old Pete Rhodes. I have 1970. Tops there. Wow, very nice. All-star card. A little higher number up. So won the Major League Batting Crown for the second straight year and 69. Yes, he did. Uh, very nice. Getting old Charlie Hustle from the Cincinnati Reds. Pete Rose. Very nice card. Get some good vintage in here. After that, we got Bone and Chrome there. We got Jason Dominguez from, looks like, New York Yankees. And that's going to be a top 100 prospect card from uh, Bowman Chrome there. So number 16 of the top 100. Uh, getting my chromey refractory goodness going on there. After that, we can get some more hippy dippy trip there. We got. Donruss there, 
there. You know, they make 8 billion parallels from Panini. Well, there it is. Get my hippie dippy trip. Chromie blue right there. No number, just a blue parallel of Fernando Tedis Jr. So there we go. Starting to play again, looking good. So up next, we got the Larry Bird of baseball. We got Robin Young there from the Milwaukee Brewers. So 1981 Fleer. So there he is. Look at all young. After that, very nice. We got 1986 uh, Fleer traded up. Jose Candy C. Canseco. That's a very nice card there. I like that. Oh, uh, there it is. Updated 20. So, 1986 updated series. So, very nice. We will take that. Got the goat. We got Jose KDC Canseco. After that, we got the Express there on 1983 Fleer. We got Nolan Ryan. Never go wrong with a Nolan Ryan card. Always holds its value. Uh, very nice card there from the Houston Astros. After that, we're from Panini Mosaic there. We got Randy Azornia. Uh, looks like from the Tampa Bay Rays. Yep, there he is. Oh, uh, there it is. Oh, chromified refractory for you. Prism me there, I call it. So that will probably that's probably a parallel there, right there. So I'll have a little value. So show the price on that one. After that, I've got 1982 Carl Yaskrowski there on 82 Fleer. We got the Yaz Man there swinging for the fences. Yeah, there he is, all his stats form there from 1982. So we will take that. <clears throat> After that, we got good old Reggie Jackson there on 1985 Fleer from the California Angels. Looking all happy there. We'll take that. After that, we got 1981 Rod Carew. I always love this card for some reason. I just, with the mountains in the background, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool picture, I think, of him. So we'll take that. 1981 Fleer. And we got Topps Finest there. We got Andrew McCutcheon there. So I think that's Philadelphia. Yep, Philadelphia Phillies. 2021. Kind of reminiscent of the 1990s Topps Finest there. So uh, it's, it's a refractor. So we'll take that. Very nice card. And up next. Very nice. We're going to get a, a uh, Topps Archive Signature Series. We got Dave Madigan there from 1991 Tops. That is 2022 Tops Archive. That's numbered 41 of 75. These are uh, Tops rebuys the cards and then get some autographed and then puts a stamp on it from the year. So 2022 Tops Archives. We got Dave Madigan. So very nice autograph. I'd be happy to add that to my collection. Uh, I think a tiny, tiny little signature there, but there it is. Tiny signature form of Dave Madigan, number 41 of 75. I got a bunch of these of different players, so I like I like opening these up once in a while. I have to do that one of these days for you. Oh, very nice. A nice autograph of Dave Madigan. We'll take that all day long. So very nice first pack. I will take this all day long. I'm kind of digging this. I'm kind of digging digging how he's uh, doing this. Uh, so I'm... Yeah, I like this a lot. Getting all kinds of years here. Getting some good stuff. And there is the top. And we're going to start off there with another autograph there from Tops Archives. So very nice. We got Luke Voigt there from the New York Yankees League Leaders. That is 2021. Uh, recent card there, but still, it's still, I guess, a one year buyback. <laughs> 22 of 99, so very nice. We'll take that. Very nice uh, autograph there of Luke Voigt from Topps Archives 2022. Uh, we'll take that. That's a very nice card. I love the archive signatures. And up next, boom! Ooh, ooh, we got our ooh, Willie Mason from 1972. Ooh, ooh, uh, I haven't put my other 72 Willie Mays away. You probably would have saw that last Tuesday. If you check my live stream, we pulled this last Tuesday, and now we pulled this one. So I got two 1972 Willie Mays. We might have to give one of these away here for uh, Retro Robbie Roulette on Tuesday Live. So uh, look out for that. I will probably put one of these in on the prize wheel. You could get, get a chance to win a 1972 Willie Mays. Uh, there he is. Good old Say Hey Willie Mays on the 1972 Tops. After that, we got another uh, 
We got another signature there. We got Will Stewart from the Miami Marlins. That's on a Bowman. Uh, 2020, it looks like. So, very nice. There is Will Stewart autographed there. At least you can recognize the W. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Not sure if he's playing or not. Uh, hopefully, he is. Uh, very nice. We'll take that. After that, look what we got again. We got another. Fernando Dennis Jr. El Nino strikes again. There is a, uh, that's from, uh, that's Tops Chrome. Uh, very nice. We will take that chromey, hippy dippy design. Uh, take your gummies and get tripped out, Fernando. Tennis Jr. on the featuring them on the 87s. Oh, there it is. I'll show the price, as you know. I got some nice Fernando action. Uh, we'll take that. After that, we got Pretty Boy there. There's Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy. There's Pretty Boy Palmer there. I don't uh, looking pretty all pretty bird. there for you. Making pretty the pitch. Lower number card from 1973, but we will still take it. Now there's pretty boy Palmer from the Baltimore Orioles. Up next, we're going to get another, another autograph. Very nice. We got uh, Louis, uh, Louis uh, Basari. I'm going to say Basari there from the San Francisco Giants on a Topps Chrome. That's his rookie card. Uh, just looks like the regular signature, no uh, specialness, but still we'll take it. Oh, uh, good old Ricky card of Louis uh, Basarbi. Uh, very nice. San Francisco Giants. Getting some good autographs in here, that's for sure. And we're going to get a 2021 updated series. Well, let's open that up. Uh, and see what we get out of here. 2021. If I can get it open, man. Holy cow. I think it's been resealed. <laughs> I think it has been resealed. This kind of looks funky here. Yeah, it has been resealed. What the heck? Why would you reseal 20? Yeah, it's sticky. Why would you do that? But still, we are going to get a relic card, a patch card of Dave Winfield. Very nice. So I'll show the price. I'll show the odds. Oh, very nice. It's kind of, I'm not, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of these, a replica, whatever this is. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Commemorative 70th anniversary patch, apparently. But it's a nice uh, picture there of Dave Winfield from the New York Yankees. I know there's a lot of Dave Winfield fans out there. There it is. You received a 70th anniversary logo patch card from 2021 Tops Updated Series. So we'll take that. Very nice. Oh, uh, after that, of course, of course we're going to get a Super Vets. Come on, we can't go out on an episode of a Super Vet card. And we're going to get an old Yaz man there, Carl Uskremski, out of 1983 Tops, Boston Red Sox. Look at how proud there. Look at all the years. Been around in baseball. Yeah, got to love it. Yeah, everyone loves the Yaz man there. 1983, we got a good old Super Vet. I always get these cards, as you know. So, uh, it's a stable retro hobby, so it's always a big joke. So, if you haven't watched enough, you can see I've gotten a lot of these and Christmas cards. Those are my two things I always seem to get mystery packs. After that, very nice. Boom! We're going to get a rookie card of King Gravy Jr. there on 89 Fleer. Oh, very nice. We got the kid. And yeah, that's going to go right in my collection as Ken Griffey is a PC collector of mine. Uh, I love collecting the kid. And that's going to have some great value right there. Got some good old King Griffey Jr. After that, we're going to get Alan and Gittler uh, Chrome card. It's probably 2022 there. We got Wander Franco there, one of those mini cards. So very nice. I believe these fall one per pack. I think he's 2022. Let me see here. Man. Yep, 2022. Man, it can't get any smaller than those cards. So, very nice. Everyone loves Wander Franco from the Tampa Bay Rays. So, hopefully, he has a good year. Uh, people seem to love him. And nice little chrominess going on there. So, nice mini there from Alan Gittler. After that, from 1980, we got good old Dave Winfield and his mutton chops. You got to love that look from him. You know, just looking like how I loved I've seen Dave Winfield in the late 70s, man, with those mutton chops. And, you know, he was like 
what was he, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, or something like that. He was a huge guy. Uh, there he is, Dave Winfield from the Padres. And we got good old Don Baylor. We got the RBI leaders from 79 out of 1980. And for that, very nice. We're going to get a blue parallel of uh, Jordan Alvarez. No, there you go. It's a numbered card there, too. 61 of 150. Uh, very nice. Getting a nice uh, Allen and Gitler card. So I just opened a pack of these up. If you saw uh, Sunday, so look at that video as well. We opened up some 22 Allen and Gitler chrome, and that's a nice blue parallel of El Jordan Alvarez. Up next, very nice, boo. We got 1979 strikeout leaders. We got the Express. We got Nolan Ryan there. And we got J.R. Richards, rest in peace, buddy, from the Houston Astros. Man, when they were on the same team there the next year, man, that was a one-two punch right there. J.R. Richards and Nolan Ryan, my God. Oh, very nice. So, no one was even close to Ryan. Oh, well, yeah, I guess Gidry was kind of close to Ryan that year. But no one was really close to uh, J.R. Richards except Old Man Neat Girl there from the Atlanta Braves. So, very nice card. We will take that. After that, we got nice good old Bobby Witt Jr. there from the Royals. I believe that's 2022 Bowman. Nope, 2020 Bowman. So very nice. That probably has some value there. It's his first Bowman card. A lot of people are uh, high on this guy too. Bobby Witt Jr. from the Kansas City Royals. And up next, man. Nice. Boom. We got a rookie card of Daddy Baseball. 1984. I had a nice one touch. Man, you put a one touch too. So we'll take that. Looks like there's a crease in there. I'm going to pull that out. I liked what he was going for, but I think there's a crease. Yeah, there is a crease in there. That's too bad. We'll probably give that away too. Uh, yeah, you can see the crease right there. Let's see if I show the picture. It's kind of hard. Uh, there is a crease right there. That's too bad. But still a very nice card there of 1984 tops of Donnie Baseball. So very nice. Uh, I would say these are pretty good packs. So I might have to do the best of retro Robbie on that one too. We're getting close to the 100th episode. Uh, when we do the 100th episode, we're going to have a live uh, opening on Wednesday. Have some fun. Do some giveaways. Uh, should be a good time. So look out for that 100th episode coming up soon. Oh, there we go. We got to skip the base there. Uh, so another OPG design wrapper. So let's see what we get. It's slabbed. We're going to get a slabbed graded card here. Let's see what we get. And we're going to get uh, Luis Roberts from the White Sox. From the Evil Ones. 2020. Uh, that is a mint nine. So there you go. Uh, getting a rookie card of Luis Roberts from 2020 Tops. I ain't up too bad, I must say. Oh, there we go. So we got quite a bit of cards to uh, count and add up here. So we'll be right back in a few seconds. And we'll add all this stuff up and give it my thumbs rating. So stay tuned. All right, we are back with those two packs from Skipping Oregon, and I was in, all in at ninety dollars and eighty-seven cents. And I'll tell you what, this was a good, fun opening. So he promised everything he said. Although the vintage, I mean, the oldest one was seventy-two, but other than that, there it was pretty decent. There was a lot of autographs in there, uh, lots of decent cards. Uh, I mean, there was some vintage. Uh, probably not as much as I would like, but that's always the case for me. So, uh, you know, I always want the, the vintage, but the vintage that were in here was really, really good. So I'm not going to lie there. We're going to start with that first pack here. Top card of the whole one is you see it right there. It was that fir very first card that we showed. It was a 1975 Hank Aaron. You got to love the hammer there. So... There he is, an all 75 form. I believe that would be his last year card, if I recall. He might have a 76 uh, highlight. I don't think he has a 76. I don't remember, but I'm sure you'll tell me if I'm wrong, as always. So, But still very nice 1980, or, yeah, 1975 there of Hank Aaron. And the second best card, of course, was also vintage. 
Very nice 1970 Pete Rose there in actually pretty decent shape. It's just off-centered. Oh, uh, we'll take that all day long. That was Beckett Low of $12. That was Beckett Low of $20. So uh, some very good value in just those two cards alone. And then you got a whole bunch of autographs, current players. You got some good players from the 80s in there. Uh, quite a bit of autographs. He gave you a lot of uh, these archives, which I kind of like. That was Dave Madigan of uh, the New York Mets. So probably you Madigan fans probably loving that. So... There's another autograph as well. Just everything was packed. Everything you want in a mystery pack, it was all loaded in there. That stack right there was Beckett Loan value of $61.60. So not too bad. We did even better on the second one here. So second one kind of had some punch too with that 1972 Willie Mays. You can't get better than that. So I, I probably will put this... Uh, in my Retro Robbie uh, Tuesday Vintage Buy-In Opening, so you can get a chance to win this on the wheel. It's 10 bucks a pack. You get a bunch of cards, and you get a chance for some stuff on the wheel. And I'm going to include this 72 Wheelie Maze as well. So very nice card. Again, $20 Beckett Low. And then also I'll include in my Tuesday's... Uh, uh, buy in if you guys want to buy in again $10 a pack we'll throw in on the wheel as well 1984 Donnie baseball rookie card there very nice oh uh, uh, you know this is Beckett low of $12 as you know uh, very nice card there a Danny baseball so we got that as well this is my second again another archives autograph of Luke Voigt for Yankees fans, you know, there's just all kinds of autographs in there, all kinds of fun stuff. As always, this one was Beckett Low of $65.10. And we also got a slam card out of there. We got a 2020 Luis Roberts from the Chicago White Sox getting the evil team there. Mint number nine, no oh, 10, but nine. But still, uh, PSA, uh, AR or APR pricing average was about seven bucks. So I put seven bucks on this card. Still, it's kind of cool to get something slabbed, a, a nice rookie card like Luis Robert. So uh, we will take that. So very nice card there as well. So uh, I love getting slab cards, as you know. I don't have to pay for them, so that's always a bonus. So uh, besides the mystery picks. So that I put at Beckett Low of $7. So if you take everything in consideration, again, I paid $90.87, which is kind of steep for two packs, but Beckett Low value of all this was $133.70. Yes, I made $42.83. So is it what he promised? Absolutely is what he promised. Uh, you know, maybe the vintage wasn't as old, but still 72. I'll take 72, 75 all day long. Or the 70 Pete Rose for sure. Gotta love the Charlie Hustle. Uh, a lot of modern cards in here, but there were still a lot of autographs, parallels, hot rookies, if you want to call it that, hot rookies for the day. So... I, I, I'm very happy with this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to buy some more for the best of retro when we hit our 100th episode. We're going to go live that Wednesday. Probably starting at 7 because it'll be a bright all night affair. <laughs> so uh, look out for that in the upcoming weeks. Uh, I think I'm on episode 90, 91 here. So uh, I'm trying to add as much as I can to the best of. So we can have some fun and open up some more fun stuff as well. So let me know what your thought. What was your favorite? Cards was Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, Pete Rose, Donnie Baseball there. All the preflas of autographs. I think I got four or five of them in here. So a uh, good deal all around. So uh, let me know your thoughts. So what was your favorite card? Leave those comments. I love reading your comments. So And we're getting very, very close to 700 subscribers. If you're not a subscriber yet, all you got to do is click that button. And you can get all this fun stuff every Wednesday night. So keep looking out for that as I try to open the best on eBay, Etsy, wherever I can find it. So thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.